Welcome to a journey of some of South Wales' most picturesque locations. Chepstow Castle based right on the border of Wales. The castle was built in 1067. It is by the River Wye. Not too far away is the village of Tintern. The abbey was built in 1131 and was the first Cistercian building in Wales. Caerphilly Castle, based on the outskirts of Cardiff, is one of the most impressive castles in Wales. Cardiff Castle, based right in the city centre, is a place worth visiting. The Principality Stadium in Cardiff, home to the Wales rugby team, full of pride and passion on match days. The Senedd is the National Assembly for Wales building, which includes the debating chamber and committee rooms. The Pierhead was built in 1897 and designed by William Frame. It was formerly the headquarters of the Boot Dock Company. The Wales Millennium Centre was built in 2004 and is home to the Wales National Opera. Swansea, the city by the sea, home to Wales' first and only Premier League football team. Why not come and take a look at the history of the city in the Marina Museum, and then follow that with a meal at one of the many restaurants? Rossilli, part of the Gower Peninsula, is the UK's first area of outstanding beauty. I spoke to Ed Hunter and asked him how rewarding it is to work for the National Trust. Oh, it's very rewarding. Um, we do a lot of good work, look after a lot, a lot of areas. Um, and then for me, we're just promoting Gower to the visitors. It's my role uh, making sure that, you know, people arrive safely and leave safely, you know, and then know where to go, advise them on different walks or what wildlife. Um, show them wildlife as well. If we see some dolphins or porpoises, we get a telescope up and try and show the visitors. Just really, just to give people a good time. I asked Lena, a European walker, about her experiences of the walk. It was great, I didn't think we could actually, because we were here a little bit late, so we had to be really fast and come back, but it's a great experience, I never thought that tides could be so dangerous. <laughs> Is it a nice walk? Yeah, it's a nice walk, a little bit dangerous maybe for inexperienced people, but it's a really nice walk. Would you definitely recommend a walk for people to do? Of course, it's great, yeah, it's really lovely, the, the weather is not so great today, but uh, even with that, you can see it's a great nature, it's a lovely place. Three Cliffs Bay, a really good place to come for a scenic walk and admire the views. Mumbles, just outside of Swansea, why not get a Jaws ice cream and walk along the waterfront? The historic town of Tenby is a busy holiday resort in the summer with the relatively unspot beaches. Pembroke Castle, Wales' most beautiful castle and definitely worth a visit. St Govan's is a 13th century chapel based on the Stackpole estate in Pembrokeshire. So that was a look at some of the best places in South Wales. Hope you can come for a visit soon. Cymru Ambeth, 